Hold on. I can do anything, remember? I have a Mac. <laughs> exactly. Hold on here. <laughs> All right. Recording is started. And I'm going to change presenter. There you go. Okay, so okay. we are we are recording, and you can go at any time. Okay. How do I actually? How do I pronounce your last name perfectly? Helixson. Helixson. Okay, great. Perfect. Yep. Oh, let me put that on silent, as I'm going to get 257 retweets of my Oprah quote. Okay. And welcome to today's webinar. I am super excited to bring you my special guest, Michael Hellickson, and talking about how to tap into the power of virtual assistants, gain more free time, massively increase profits, and reduce expenses up to 67%. This is one webinar you are not going to want to miss. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, and let me tell you a little bit about Michael Michael Hellickson began his career as a real estate agent in 1991, eventually, literally, becoming the nation's number one real estate agent. During his career, he has spoken and coached thousands of students and organizations nationwide, and has also been featured on several national television and radio programs, including Glenn Beck, CNBC, The Dave Ramsey Show, and the Fox Business Network, among many other local and regional programs. Michael has since become the founder and president of Virtual Assistant Staffing, the world's leading headhunting agency specializing in helping businesses find, hire, and train top talent from around the globe at a savings of up to 67% over a local employee. That's what we're talking about today, and welcome, Michael. I am so excited to have you. Me too. Thank you so much, Adrian. You are very welcome. So I want to go over what we're going to talk about today. And that is why top businesses hire VAs and why you should, how to change your perception of VAs forever, how to find the right VA, well for me that's just a quick speed dial to Brian, and how to know when and if you're ready for a VA. So let's talk about you for a little bit. Can you tell your story, because this is what I thought was really interesting, how you went from Lone Ranger to world-class team builder, and how everyone on this call can do it too. You know, everybody starts off in their career at some point as the Lone Ranger. You know, we're all out there trying to figure it out and trying to make it all happen, and I was no different than that. And uh, I literally uh, went out at one point. I, I was working really hard in my real estate business, trying to figure it all out on my own and barely making it. And my parents literally came to me and said, hey, Michael, you need to consider, uh, you know, going to work for McDonald's because you'd actually make more money. And uh, the sad part was they were right. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was kind of scary. I mean, I, I was working really hard. I was the top agent in my office, but I was broke, and which doesn't say a lot for the rest of the agents in the office, does it? But anyway, so they, they suggested, you know what, Michael, go get, a, go get a real job. And I just couldn't cope with that. I, I just thought, you know what, I'm not giving up that easy. And so I attended a seminar put on by the guru in the real estate sales world. And this guy made a comment that stuck with me forever. He said in his event, he says, if you don't have an assistant, you are one. And, man, that hit me like a ton of bricks. And it's so true if you really think about it. You know, when, if we don't have an assistant, we're doing the types of tasks that an assistant would do. And we're, and we're doing things that really we could be paying somebody, you know, 9 to $11 an hour to do for us, and sometimes even less. Sometimes as little as 7 bucks an hour we could be getting these things done for. And, uh, well, I, I thought long and hard about that, and I thought, you know what, my time is more valuable than $7 an hour, and I need to go out and I need to find a way to, to focus on those things that really make me money. And so I did. I hired my first assistant. And she was fantastic. In fact, uh, later, about four years later, we got married, and I always tell people that uh, that's when I went to work for her. So, anybody? You married your assistant. I did. How crazy is that? <laughs> that is awesome. I totally did not know that. I've seen pictures of her. She's absolutely lovely. She's amazing. She's a great gal. And, you know, it's funny. We have, we have a rule in our house, Adrian. I don't know if you, how it works at your place, but at my home, the rule is any man that says he wears the pants in the family probably lies about other things, too. So. <laughs> yes, I, I totally understand that. <laughs> 
very, very, it's a good rule. It oh, I think so. Rule. She certainly thinks so. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's talk about from there, after the seminar, you hired your first assistant. Let's talk about the next 15 years, because that was a really exciting time for you. It was. You know, we worked really hard and, and uh, you know, learned how to build a business, and, and we did. For the next 15 years, we began selling between 60 and 120 homes a year, just working really hard. But, you know, the, the challenge was we were making good money, but we weren't making so much that we were lighting the skies on fire, but, you know, we were making more than, than enough to not want to get out of the business. And uh, so as time went on, we started to look at, okay, well, what are we going to do here? And uh, so we realized that, you know, actually, hang on, let me grab, uh, as, as you're doing this, I'm going to click through. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a lag on the click through on our slides here. But, I know, and it's so funny because normally I'm very conversational, but I want to make sure I cover all these points because that was a really amazing story. Yeah, well, you know, and it really was. I'll tell you, we were very fortunate. Um, you know, we got to a point where, you know, we were building this business and, and we amassed about 42 rental properties and we went out and bought our little McMansion, you know, bought the little $2 million house, which, you know, we thought was the right thing to do. And, and you know, back then everybody was saying that's the thing to do because, you know, real estate's going to keep going up and up and up and up and it's never going to go down. And, you know, we bought into that just like everybody else did. And it's funny because, you know, we were in the business. I guess we couldn't see the forest from the trees. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, everything was going great until it wasn't. And that was about June of 2007. And, you know, those of you that were in the real estate business or had involvement in the real estate industry at some level know that the market just collapsed, like, immediately. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it, it stopped. Literally, mortgages stopped. Processing stopped. Oh, it was all in one week. Uh, I mean, it was yeah, crazy. In one, in one week, literally, deals stopped closing because every week in the mortgage business, you get what the lenders are willing to do. You get the deal sheets, and you know what you can sell, what their interest rates are, what, you know, what the spread is, and what the, what the underwriting requirements are. You know all that every week, and, and in one week, there, there were no underwriting requirements. It was you know 30% down and an 850 credit score. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that was it. That was it. Those were the only people getting mortgages. I was like, what, uh huh? It, it shook up everybody's world instantly. I mean, it just, I mean, I lost $100,000 in commissions in that one month alone. And, you know, all of a sudden our rental properties were all upside down. And, you know, we had a $6,000 a month house payment, you know, about six grand in the bank, you know, because we were like everybody else. You know, we were spending as much as we were making, living the high life. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. Oh, it's it, exactly that time. My, my $5,500 mortgage payment recast to 12,800. Oh my gosh. Yep. I, w I mean, I've been there with you. Like, oh. you know, everybody who talks about hit, hitting bottom and bouncing back and it's like, I've raised my hand, been there, was there right there with you. Well, I have a feeling there's a lot of people on our call today that are that that have been there as well. I mean, it's it's surprising oh, yeah. how many people went through this. I mean, it really hit everybody. And, uh, you know, so really we, we took a hard look at our business. I mean, we, you know, we really, you know, we just had a handful of unsellable listings and we had to decide, you know, we're either going to crush it with this business or we need to quit. You know, we're either going to go big or we're going to go home. And so we prayed about it, thought about it, talked about it. And, and Tara and I decided, well, you know, we, we're not the kind of the quitting kind. So let's, <laughs> let's go big. <laughs> so that's what we did. I love it. Oh yeah, and I got to tell you, that's we started building our team at that point, and man, it was it was a learning experience. So I, I tell you, best thing we ever did though is really it was it was huge for us to be able to build our business and 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 take it to that next level. And so, long story short, uh, that's exactly what we did. Fast forward to uh, two thousand and uh, what two thousand and ten, September of two thousand and ten, uh, and we now had. Uh, about 40 employees, 44 employees actually. Uh, we had been in business now for about 20 years. Our payroll alone, we were spending $125,000 a month just in payroll, which is crazy. Wow. Yeah, it was insane. And uh, we had closed about 470 transactions that year so far, had about 500 listings, 278 pendings. Um, you know, so transactions getting ready to close, and uh, we were doing pretty good. We were making a little over a hundred thousand dollars a month, between a hundred and one hundred and fifty a month in net revenue at one point. Uh, and can I just say, with you still had to manage forty-four employees, yeah, to make about one point two million. That's correct. 
Yeah. That's a lot of it, people and management. It, well, and that's welcome to the real estate sales business. I mean, it's that's right. just the way it is. I mean, it's not like internet marketing or a lot of other careers where you know you you get a lot higher return on your dollar based on the number of employees you have. Uh, you know, for real estate, you know, you really do. You got to work very, very hard. But real estate. I have a lot of respect for real estate agents. They they kind of get a bad rap, I think, sometimes. They uh, they do work. The majority of them work very, very hard for every dollar they earn. So, but uh, yeah, so then it, it gets worse though because every once in a while we would have a month where we would lose 70 grand. <laughs> and so, let me tell you, <laughs> that's pretty scary. <laughs> so, we. Yeah, there's months you don't sleep at night. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it happens. It really does. I mean, there's, you know, it's, it's like having a startup business every month sometimes. And so, you know, because you do, you got to go out and you got to find those transactions the next month. But, uh, you know, we started looking at, you know, talking to our buddies around the country that had businesses like ours, and and uh, they were telling me that I needed to do something different. They were suggesting that I needed to hire virtual assistants, and I got to be honest with you, that was a big stretch for me. I was very uncomfortable with that, and you know, I'd never had a virtual assistant before. I didn't know how I was going to communicate with them. How was I going to make sure they were doing the work properly? It was all very new and very foreign to me, and I had more questions than answers. Uh, but I, I did. I reluctantly, I said, okay, fine, I'm going to try it. So I hired my first VA very reluctantly at one point. And uh, it went great. I was surprised. It actually worked out very well. I hired this person as an assistant to one of my other assistants. They did a great job. The assistant loved it. And so all of a sudden, my wife and my office manager came to me and said, hey, Michael, we want one too. So, yeah, that, that I, I didn't realize what a monster I had created all of a sudden. But uh, anyway, so I hired the two more, and Tara, my wife, loved hers, and my office manager, hers was not so great. And that's when I learned my next big lesson in outsourcing or, or hiring virtual as team members. And that is, you know, when you fire somebody locally, it's a process. You know, you kind of got to build a case for it. Got to make sure that you know you can document that in fact that you know this firing this person was justified. And there's lots of tax reasons as well why this. There's just, it's a process you go through. Then you got to worry about you know are they going to come back and say you know claim unemployment or are they going to say that they worked a bunch of overtime that they really didn't work and and try and get me for that. And there's just crazy stuff that goes on. Well, this one that didn't work out, it was very easy. I actually just sent her an email and said your services are no longer required and send her her last check. Done. It was over. Literally that easy. And uh, and I didn't have to worry about going through a big long process or anything. And man, it absolutely worked great. Uh, and so firing them was easier than ever. So I, I kind of felt like Donald Trump. You know, you're fired. Pretty straight. <laughs> I know. That sounds callous and cruel, but I mean, at the end of the day, you're running a business, right? And you've got to have people that are willing to play ball. And here's the thing, with the ability to fire so easily, it makes the hiring process easier, but also the upgrade process when you realize, you know what, maybe this person doesn't quite have the skill set that I was looking for. I need somebody with, you know, maybe three to five years more experience. Well, you're not looking at spending an extra $20,000 for that as well when you're talking about these virtual assistants. Exactly. Because the price point is so low, and you can upgrade the skill set just that easily by just trading up. Well, and that's just it. You know, you're always top grading your team. You're always looking to hire better and better people for fewer and fewer dollars. And you can do that, but it's a process, right? It's like anything else. You've got to kind of go through this process. But you're right, it does. When you let that person go, it's very scalable. It's very easy to let them go in that, in that arena and, and replace them with somebody who is as good or better. And that's exactly what we did. We hired somebody to replace this person and the new replacement was again a phenomenal virtual assistant and so now I start looking around the whole office and I start thinking alright what else can I take virtual and that's exactly what we started to do we started to take every single position virtual that we possibly could and we took our payroll down from 125,000 a month to just about $40,000 a month Wow! VAs. I know, isn't that crazy uh, That's awesome. It was huge, and we saved about 68% on our payroll. That's $85,000 a month. I mean, think about that. $85,000 a month without doing another transaction. That's a lot of money. And that's just where the savings began. 
I mean, it wasn't just that. We also started saving. I mean, think about it. You've got your wages and salaries, and that's the numbers we just talked about. But then we were also saving all those employment taxes. We no longer had any employment taxes to pay. No more labor and industries. No more workers' compensation. And we also got rid of the office chit-chat, which I didn't realize this at the time. But, man, if you really think about it, office chit-chat is extremely expensive. Well, we got rid of all that. We got rid of all the drama. And all of a sudden, oh, drama! That's the most priceless part, right there, the drama. Oh my gosh! Now I'm yeah. not gonna, I'm not gonna get gender specific here, but I will tell you that when you put 44 people in a small room together, there will be drama. <laughs> oh yeah, it's crazy. And so that was gone. That was huge. And let's talk about not having to house them. Well, and that's the next piece. Yeah, we got rid of the long-term leases. We had no more triple nets to pay. There was no insurance, no telephone, no internet, no office equipment, no copiers, no computers, no plants, no desk, chairs, cubicles, toilet paper, none of that. I get rid of, <laughs> I, you start adding all of that up, it's crazy expensive. I, I wish I would have done this years and years and years ago. It took me way too long to figure this out. Uh, and I got to tell you that you know, just I, I think about the millions, literally, of dollars that I spent over the years on staff and and just everything. And you start thinking about all the money that you could have saved on office space and all that stuff. It's just it's tremendous. So anyway, it was huge it, for us. It was such a big deal. And so once we did all that, the next thing that happened, and this is what this really blew me away. This was huge for me. We took a trip. We took my family. And, you know, I've, I've always been a believer that no, fail, no success in the world can compensate for failure in the home. And so we took five weeks. And I, I don't know if you can see that on your screen. Maybe you know where that mountain is in the background there. But I got to tell you, we took five weeks off with the family, went to Europe. I didn't pick up the phone. I didn't check an email. I didn't Skype anybody. I didn't Dropbox anybody. I didn't text message anybody. I spent five of the best weeks of my life with my family in Europe, and uh, I got to tell you, nothing will ever, ever, ever replace that time that we spent together. And uh, my business grew while I was gone because it was it was all virtual. And by the way, I, it allowed me to make a decision on where I wanted to live. Also, we actually have have thought about beginning to take our summers off now and spending summers in different locations throughout the world because. I can do my business from anywhere. I'm not tied to a physical location where I've got staff and office space and all that. And so. that's exactly why I homeschool and have virtual assistants. Yep. Because then literally wherever I'm speaking anywhere in the world, if it's gonna if I'm gonna be gone for a week, I can just take Jack and his netbook and I'm good. As long as there's an internet connection, he's got school. Yeah, that's huge. And so I'm not even tied down to only traveling for summer. Well, and how cool is it for him that he gets to go around and, and be everywhere with you and experience the different locations and all that stuff? I mean, how cool is that? It's very cool. So. <laughs> my face just went over to my alarm. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I saw your screen flip over. I'm like, what? What are you? Crazy huh? It's my crazy calendar. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Well, you know, ultimately. Uh, all of that's great, but uh, let's let's talk real quick here, Adrian, if we can, just about that 40-hour gift that we, we talked about earlier and about giving everybody on your call. One of the things that, that we agreed to was that in, in order to do this webinar for you guys, that we would make it, that, that we would bring some value to the table that was so crazy good and so valuable that it would it would absolutely be foolish not to take advantage of it. And it would it would be something for free. We wouldn't sell anything. And so what we've agreed to do is to give each and every person who is on uh, this webinar today 40 hours of free virtual assistant time to test a VA out and see if having a VA is the right thing for you and for your business. And so here's what we're going to do. There's a link at the top of your screen. It's uh, wowisme.net forward slash VA staffing. Again, it's wowisme.net forward slash VA staffing. Now, when you go to that link, there will be a little video there, and you should watch the video. It's a great little 10-minute video, kind of watch you through our process and, and how to work with the VA and that sort of thing. But then there's a form on that page. And when you fill out that form, we're going to have someone from our staff is going to contact you. 
and dig really, really deep into exactly what it is that you need and are looking for in a virtual assistant. Now this is really important because everybody's needs are different and we want to make sure we get you connected with that right virtual assistant who's going to do a great job for you. Once we, you've had that consultation, we're going to shoot you over our standard agreements, very short, very straightforward, and then we're going to go through and we're going to find you the right VA. We're going to search literally the entire world and find you that right virtual assistant. Now that process usually takes us about two weeks. Once we've found that person, you're going to get to test drive them risk-free and without any long-term commitment whatsoever, you're going to get to test drive them for free for 40 hours. When you love them, keep them and we'll begin billing you after that 40 hour trial period. If you don't love them, we will replace them absolutely free. So the, the bottom line here is we just want to give everybody a chance to kind of test them out, see if having a virtual assistant is right for you, see if the, the virtual assistant we find for you is the right long term fit for your team, and uh, give you all a chance to experience that without having to pay for it and without any risk. So, Adrian, anything to say to that? I, I totally want to compliment you guys because I hired one and lovely person, absolutely fabulous, but our eye for design was just slightly different. You know, I have something in mind and I need someone who's a little bit more clairvoyant, <laughs> which, you know, how do you put that on a resume? It's like, you have to be able to read my mind from anywhere in the world to know exactly what I'm thinking. And uh, it turned out I just needed somebody who had just a little bit more skill set, a little bit more design skills. And the trading up process was it's flawless. It's just so easy. And I didn't feel bad. The person didn't feel bad. It was like, okay, no problem. Like that firing process, which I avoid at all costs, which is, you know, that's the hard part about hiring people and taking on an assistant is you feel responsible for them. And the great thing about you guys is I just email Brian and go, I think I need somebody else. And this is These are the things that made me crazy. And let's build that into the next staffing requests so we can figure out and get this and this is these are the things that I'm really most focused on that's what I noticed and like boom flawless upgrade and I didn't have to do any of the firing that well, alone is priceless that's and that is huge and it's nice because you learn through that process and we learn better what you're looking for just like you said you can you right. can take the things that drove you nuts and you, we can build that into the description as we go out and find the next person and we build that into our interview process so that you know we find someone that doesn't have those things that make you crazy and has the and, and keep in mind not much makes me crazy but loading the dishwasher incorrectly is one of them so it's little things you know what I mean so it's, <laughs> not something that I will know is going to drive me crazy. And it's the tiniest little thing, but it's just, it's a personality thing. And once that fit is like, because you guys have, we're going to meet some of your VAs that I am totally in love with. And if you did not already have them full time, I'd be like, can I have that? <laughs> <laughs> and and you, the people on this call are going to, they're going to hear it. I mean, these people are amazing, absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited uh, to meet them. So let's talk about VAs come in all shapes and sizes, and uh, let's talk about that. You know, you're right, and, and as we're doing that, as soon as we, we'll, we'll roll through this, and then I want to get a couple on the line so that you can actually hear directly from VAs themselves, but just know that, you know, their backgrounds vary, their skill sets vary, their pay ranges vary. Uh, you know, you can get somebody that can just do data entry and basic SEO and blogging and those kinds of things for seven bucks an hour. That's pretty cheap. Or you can get somebody who speaks perfect English who is going to call and, you know, maybe they're going to make cold calls for you. Maybe they're calling your warm clients and setting appointments for you. Uh, maybe they're acting as a really high-level executive assistant for you. I mean, there's just so many things. Maybe you need a video editor who can do, you know, video editing, you know, like, you know, off the charts video editing. I mean, there's so many things, graphics design, website design, all that kind of stuff. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But... Um, let's let's do this. So is now a good time to get one of our VAs online just so everybody can hear from one of them? Yes, I think so. I'll put up what can a VA do. All and right. then let's just talk about whoops. Yeah, let's let's have everybody as 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 I'm grabbing this person on the line and uh, if you want to hit can you pause showing your screen or I wonder if I can get her actually let's just see. I'm gonna get her on the line and I'm gonna see if we can hear her without having to change the presenter to me. I'm going to see if we can hear her on the webinar here. So give me just two seconds, and I'm going to okay. grab her. Can you still hear me? 
I can still hear you. All right, fantastic. Let's see if this works. Now, one of the things while we're doing this that I think is amazing is uh, the VAs that I have spoken to. Marian, hi. They buy a hey, magic jack, going? which is like 20 bucks a year or something like that. Can you hear me now? Uh, uh, Adrian, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. And can, were you able to hear Marion? Uh, no. Marion, can you say something for me? Hello. How are you? <gasps> Hello. <laughs> She's my favorite one, isn't she? She is. You've mentioned her before. So, hey, Marion, we've, uh, we've got you live with uh, Adrian. Just real quick, could you do me a favor? Could you just tell Adrian and, and, and her friends kind of a little bit about what you do for me? Well, um, aside from the fact that I have to make sure that he works out four times a week, <laughs> which I don't expect, um, I have to make sure that I, I get set up appointments for him. Um, every day, and um, he, he actually gives me a list of people to call, and I need to make sure that I call them, I be in contact with them, and make appointment. So oh. that's it. Yeah. How many appointments are you setting for me a day now? Um, the last time was 19, and today um, I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I sent out uh, most, of, most of the things that I sent out today as emails, so I, I'm still waiting for their replies. Okay. Yeah. But you, so what but I love about her the most was when I talked to her, I absolutely knew she had a smile on her face. Like that was the first <laughs> thing that came across the phone. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a requirement for Marianne. She's uh, she's not allowed to uh, get on the phone with with anybody on my uh, uh, on my list without uh, without smiling first. So she she does a great <laughs> job of that. She's awesome. But and I. And I'll tell you that, you know, Marion actually, I like to embarrass her, she actually was, is the former Miss Philippines. So that a lot of her poise, I'm sure, comes from having gone through the, uh, the entire pageant program. Pretty, pretty cool stuff, so. I know, she's amazing. And when she phoned me, it came in from, I think it was a 650 number. Um, it was a U.S.-based West Coast number that I recognized the area code. And I was like, wow, that's cool. And she's calling. I'm like, oh, are you in Seattle with Michael? She's like, no, I'm in Manila. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, how did you do that? And well, it was you... the magic jack that makes it look like they're here with you. So it can be absolutely seamless. Yeah, they can. you can have a phone number and whatever, pre, whatever prefix in the world you want to have it in. And uh, so it's absolutely very cool. And they can make inbound calls, outbound, you know, they can handle inbound calls, they can make outbound calls, uh, lots and lots of very cool ways that they can uh, connect with your clients. So uh, any other questions for Marion before I let her go? No, I'm great. I just love you. I want your twin. Can I have a clone? <laughs> right on. All right. Well, Marion, thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. I love her. Isn't I love she fantastic? Her. She is. She just sparkled my whole day. when I, I think I talked to her for like a half an hour. I'm sorry. I totally, like, I could not stop talking to her. She was so interesting. <laughs> nice. That's yeah. great. No, Marion's great, and she's a great example of you know someone that speaks very, very good English uh, and can be hired to handle just about whatever you want. She's a great executive assistant as well as uh, a phenomenal appointment setter. She sets, uh, you know, as she said, her best day so far was 19 appointments in one day. She generally sets between nine and 16 appointments a day for me. Wow. So. Yeah, she's That's really a lot effective. of lead generating. And, and think of it this way, because this is one of the things that, you know, stumps a lot of us. We go to networking events and we meet people and then those cards sit on the countertop or on the dresser or still in the purse or wherever and nothing ever happens to them. The other day, I pulled out 2,000 business cards and I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? FedEx these to Manila? And the idea was actually to hire a school kid to just come in and scan them and fax them. Or scan them and email them. And yeah, and it's huge. What, what I do is right. actually, I just go down to the front desk of the hotel I'm staying at, and I hand off all the business cards from the event, and I say, well, I'll give you an example. I'm going to an event this next week. Uh, you know, I'll probably end up with, at that event, several hundred cards, and I'll just walk up to the front desk, and I'll say, hey, could you guys scan these in and email them to me? They've never charged me for it. They always do it. 
and they just email them to me and I take all those that yeah I take that email and I forward it to my VA who then inputs all of those cards into the into my client relationship management software and uh, and then Marion calls them all and sets appointments for me you mean the hotel where the event is being held yeah exactly like the Sheraton or Absolutely. The Weston. That's well, exactly right. And it's funny you mentioned the Sheridan and the Weston because I stay at Weston's more often than anywhere. <laughs> so. I love the Weston. I'm telling you, they're my very, very favorite. I love them, and the, especially the LAX Weston. Oh, my God. I And the Bellman there, like, have totally saved me. I got a migraine tangent. I had a migraine one day, and the, the <laughs> gift store lady was on lunch and had closed, and I was at an event. I couldn't leave. I couldn't drive, and I, I was my head was splitting open. And the, the bellboy guy... Takes one, takes one look at me, and literally it was like he turned into Papa Bear. And he brought me into the exclusive area, fed me a bunch of water, sat me down, went down to the lunchroom, got her, got her to open up, brought me, like, totally took care of me. I was like, he needs a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's going above and beyond. That was awesome. Okay, yeah. let's talk about more things that VAs can do. Okay. Well, think about this. Anything that doesn't require physical presence in your office, uh, it can be done by a, a VA. One of the things that's my very, very favorite thing to use VAs for and one of the very easy things to get someone uh, abroad to do for you is your bookkeeping. Most people in America are spending between $25 and $55 an hour for their bookkeeping. I can get really good bookkeepers overseas for as little as 9 bucks an hour. Very inexpensive. So. Wow, nine dollars an hour, and they do, uh, and they do everything that a bookkeeper here would do. They're trained the same way. Absolutely. In fact, they're very good at QuickBooks, and what I, what our VA does, our bookkeeper. So, in fact, I'll get her. In fact, heck, why am I even telling you? Why don't I just get her online? You want let's, me to get her? Yeah, online? let's get her on the line. And I I know when we talked before, I suggested that you add the little download into your QuickBooks. Were you able to do that? Uh, I come to find out they were already doing it. I didn't realize that, but Tara. And, oh, good, because I was like, and, that's like such an easy thing to do without having to give, you know, because that's the big thing is you don't want to give access to your bank accounts, but obviously that data is going to get put into QuickBooks after yeah. the fact. So if you can just import it, you know, in a one-way pull it down, that's it's safe, and at the same time, it, then you know it's all correct. Yes, that's correct. You yeah. don't have those typo errors. Well, let's let's get her online real quick. I'm going to grab her. Hang on, I'm, I'm dialing her up as we speak. But uh, yeah. yeah, her name is Mandy, and Mandy. I'll just let her explain what she does for us. Hang on. Now, what was interesting is you have bookkeepers, but you also have like CPAs and CFOs and people who really understand high-level business. Hi, hi, Mandy. How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm f fantastic. Hey, I've got a friend and a client named Adrian on the line with us, and she wanted me just to have you explain, if you would, just tell her what you do for us and how you and Tara work together and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Hi, Adrian. Hi, uh, Mandy. I'm Mandy from Philippines. I'm a pre assistant here in pre assistant staffing, and being the book to and being the bookkeeper of the company, I provide accounting support and services. I also work using QuickBooks accounting software that my client provided via, via remote control. I do QuickBook updates, transaction entries, bank reconciliation. Uh, I also do electronic tax filing, payroll processing, and I also provide training for the incoming bookkeeper bookkeepers uh, with regards on how to work via remote control and also doing some trainings on QuickBooks, QuickBook matters. And I also do other jobs that may be assigned for me from time to time by my immediate, immediate uh, supervisor, which is Ms. Tara Halixon. Okay, that's fine. That's Let's awesome. See. So. What I picked up there, the most important thing is Hello, I don't have to yep, know. Hold on. She's Mandy. I, I know you're having a hard time hearing Adrian, but uh, give, me, oh, okay. just, give me just one second. Adrian's talking. So it's what I was going to say, what I picked up from that that was like the big old light bulb is that I don't have to know how, she's, how my VA is going to do the job because did she just say she trains incoming bookkeepers? 
Yes, she does. So Actually, other- every time we bring on a bookkeeper for a client, they go through training with Mandy so that we can make sure. And Mandy actually works with them and and takes a look at what the client's needs are and makes sure that that VA is able to do exactly what the client needs and wants. And then she makes sure that, you know, the first – she just kind of watches that process for the first couple of weeks to make sure that the client is happy and that, you know, that everybody's understanding what needs to be done and that it's actually getting done. That's amazing to me because that's the number one – fear that most people have about, number one, delegating, number two, it's like, I can't explain how I do what I do, so how am I ever supposed to tell somebody else how to do it? Or worse than that, my bookkeeper handles everything. I have no idea what she does or how she does it. How am I supposed to lead a VA? So to me, that is priceless that you've got that safety net there and that training for a new person to come on board who will then customize and handle what it is that I need to have done and do it. Well, I got to tell you, one of the things that's huge about having Mandy as our bookkeeper is that my my P and L is up to date all the time. You know, if I want to know exactly where my dollars are, if I want to know exactly what's going on in the business, it's it's a Skype call or a phone call away, it's or an email away. It's very easy for me to find out, and uh, it's more accurate than it has been ever before. And that's huge. You've got to have somebody doing it. And also, another thing that's really cool is you know I don't like to get too involved in the details, and so. Mandy actually has direct access to my tax accountant, and when she wants to know how something should be categorized for tax purposes, she doesn't bother calling me. She'll just email the accountant, and the accountant will tell her, hey, I want that you know, categorized under this so that it's easy for my tax reporting purposes. In fact, he's had her go back and clean up stuff that my American-based bookkeepers did in the past that needed to be cleaned up and uh, went through all of that. And, and filled out all this paperwork for my for my CPA that he needed done for our taxes. It was phenomenal. And I had zero involvement in that process. I, I literally didn't have to do anything in that process. I love that part, zero involvement. That's very, very cool. The other thing that I picked up uh, from your executive assistant is she says that she makes sure that you work out four times a week. And I think that <laughs> is right. so cute. Because and actually, let me do this, Adrian, real quick. Morning. I'm going to let Mandy go. Did you have any other questions okay. for her? No, I'm excited. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Mandy. Thank you, Mandy. All right. Bye-bye, Mandy. Welcome. Okay, so the call you every morning and program your brain for success, number one, I also think by handing somebody a to-do list, it means you've gone over your overall to-do list every day, and you're portioning off what you're going to hand off, and you know what's left for you. Well, and I also give my VAs a list of things, and, and I'll be honest with you, I've got the VAs that I have working for me on my staff, they just, they know now because we've trained, we've, we spend a lot of time on training to make sure that they're trained properly, and so I really don't have to do that every day, they just know what needs to be done and they go do it, and so I don't do a daily huddle with my team anymore, but in the beginning, a daily huddle is a very, very powerful tool, and one of the things I like to do is, I have a list of if you don't have anything to do that I've tasked you out on or that's a, you know that's on your priority list, here's the list of things you do when there's nothing else to do. And so they've always got something to do because stuff comes up. You know, if I'm dizzy or don't want to delegate something out, I want them to have productive things that they can always be doing. That's exactly right. So having an ongoing to-do list. Exactly. That's right. And, and that's just, yeah, it makes a big, big difference. So, but you know, there's there's lots and lots of different ways you can do it. There's no one right way or one wrong way. The big key is communication and training. Is you know, if you'll spend the time to train your people correctly and communicate with them, you're going to get out of them what you put into them. You'll, you'll get tremendous results. You'll have a team of ninjas who can go out there and crush it on your behalf, and you can focus on the things that are really important for you to do. Mm-hmm. So, very important I stuff. Think- very, very important. So let's talk about some of the people who you have worked with. So I see that Ken Kellerman, the president of Sales Advantage Group, says, my virtual assistant is terrific. She saves me money, does a fantastic job, and is invaluable to my business. The process of hiring through virtual assistant staffing was easy, fast, and efficient. With the free trial, I knew I had nothing to lose. I highly recommend this service. I second that. I third that. I fourth that. I'm standing up both hands up in the air, jumping up and down. Anybody who needs an assistant needs to try this. They just do. So let's talk about reality check, the truth, right? 
So as we saw the difference between your executive assistant, she's an M2, right? Uh, she is, my executive assistant is a tier four, actually. No, 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 I mean, what is, what is her name? Oh, I'm sorry, her name is uh, Marion. Marion, that's right, Marion and Mandy. So the difference between the skill set, the English, right? Yep. Very different, right? Mm -hmm. Mandy, I was, I was straining, I could totally understand her, but I had to focus to understand. Right. And with your executive assistant, no problem. I mean, the first time I talked to her, I thought she was here. I'm like, oh my God, you sound like you're from California. She was so cute. <laughs> you know, and it's true. You know, their there, there language skills definitely vary. And you just have to ask yourself, you know, it, how much do I want to pay for a higher English level? You know, for me, for my bookkeeper, I don't need my bookkeeper to speak perfect English. I really don't. What I need her to speak is perfect QuickBooks. And she does. Right. And so... You know, my executive assistant, different story. She's a representative of my company. She's out there talking to my clients on a regular basis. I need her to speak a, a higher level of English. And so she does. Uh, you know, I've even got guys, uh, you know, we've hired virtual assistants out of South Africa that have that sexy British accent, you know, that really come oh, across I very professional. I know. Isn't that great? Well, you know, we love, we love the Brits. We love the South Africans. We love that British accent. Uh, because especially in internet marketing with video training, it's like the highest converting accent you can have is British. Really? Second I didn't know highest, that. Oh, yeah. Second highest, you've got to show a picture. It's a middle-aged, overweight, Midwestern woman. So if they have the top <laughs> kind of like this, in the, you know, not, well, I'm not even doing it very well because mine, mine does Georgia, which is more south, because I lived there for a while. But if you can do the Midwestern, that's the second highest converting uh, in terms of believability and truth or honesty and believability and conversion rates. Really? But, but the highest is British. That is very interesting. Well, I can get you all the British accent folks that you want. So I know. Well, which is great because then, then you get all of them to record all of your video training. So when you're doing training videos for your clients, you don't have to sit there on Camtasia and go over and over and over again. That's exactly right. And, and like you said, so he, one of the guys that I was you know, hankering over, because I don't know what he looks like, but I know what he sounds like, and what he sounds like makes me think of, like, you know, a Calvin Klein model with the six-pack ripped abs, so I'm just <laughs> going to believe that that's what he looks like whenever I talk to him, but <laughs> see, it's good for the imagination, too, so they're not all from the Philippines, because he's from South Africa. That's correct, he is, he's from South Africa, and, and right. does, a, does a great job, just a fantastic job, so. And they often require less management than local staff. You know, they and really do. That's because the no chit chat. They're used to working solo. Well, and they, their reporting is better too. A lot of, you know, I mean, I get an end of day report from each one of my VAs that says broken down by hour every single thing they've done each hour throughout the day. I, I mean, yes. when's the last time you got that from a local employee? Oh, I've never gotten that before. Yeah, they're like, never. just be glad yeah, I'm not on my, on my Facebook all day. <laughs> Exactly. And the work quality is often superior, and I think part of that is also because of the reporting. You know, they know that they're being tracked. And, and here's the other thing. Their pay is actually far superior than if they were to work locally. That's correct. I, I don't know why this keeps tipping. Yeah, you're right. So they, they, they make more money working through us than they would if they were to get a job in their local marketplace. So it doesn't seem like you're paying, you know, you're, you think to yourself, gosh, you know, I'm hiring a guy with a PhD and a sexy British accent for, you know, 15 bucks an hour. You're, and, and that's all in. I don't have any taxes or anything like that on top of that. You're kidding me. Right. And exactly. the reality is that's great money where they're from. You know, in, in, in America, you know, if you hire somebody for $15 an hour in America, you're really paying them $21 an hour by the time you figure all the uh, taxes and governmental costs. Add another couple bucks an hour for office space, computers, and all that other stuff. I mean, it's just, it gets crazy fast. Oh, and then God forbid work comp and unemployment. Oh, yeah. Because they could be not working for you and you could still be paying them. That's exactly right. That does happen. And what if the computer breaks? I mean, you got to pay for computer support for the, you know, to run the servers. Yeah. And just, it just, it goes on and on and on and on and on. So. And I love the idea of you, you pay for performance. They are performing, they are working, you are paying. That's right. So let's talk about the things that nobody thinks about that you, people can do. 
It's just crazy. Um, I mean, in, you can your imagination is absolutely can be unlimited here. I mean, think about it. You know, you could get a CFO. I can get you an attorney abroad. I can get you a paralegal. I can get you. In fact, I just hired a paralegal the other day. Um, and you know, we get them out of Central and South America. We get them out of. Uh, we get a lot of our high level programmers out of Eastern Europe. Um, you know, what if you want a graphics designer? Or how about this? What if you wanted somebody to teach your kids to play piano over Skype? Now, this sounds crazy. But seriously, would you rather drive a half hour from your house to the place where your kids are going to take their lesson, wait the hour for them while they're in their lesson, and then drive another half hour back home? It's cost you two hours out of your day, and it really wasn't, you know, for the most part, that wasn't necessarily high-quality time that you got to spend with your kids because an hour of that, you were just waiting in the lobby while they did their lesson. Well, why not have them do their lesson over Skype so you're not spending that hour waiting for them while they're taking their lesson? They can get it from some, you know, Romanian classical pianist who's the be all end all of classical pianists they're getting better instruction and you're getting it for for less than you would spend doing it in America I mean it's huge there's, there's you cannot possibly think of anything that could be done remotely that a VA can't do I mean they can do just about everything right everything that doesn't require physical touch that's right as long as they're not sweeping your floors it can be done or filing but well, and filing should filing. be done electronically, too. I mean, let me tell you, that's, that's what I was going to say. Get rid of the paper because the paper oh. is my worst enemy in my entire life. Absolutely. Oh, man. Let me tell you, we have, from when we had our real estate business, I've got an entire garage full of the files that I'm required to keep for seven years because I haven't had the time to hire a, uh, an intern to come in and scan them all. And let me tell you, though, everything uh -huh. we do now is paperless. Everything. Oh, yeah. I, I am about to hire a truck to come and shred my real estate company because I am just almost at the end of the mandatory um, filing period where you have, to, you have to hold the files in for a certain number of years and then you can destroy them. And I have hundreds of files and I'm like, I want them gone. I will save $500 a month on secure storage because I don't need them, but I've had to hold them for four years. Ugh, that's crazy. I know, it's crazy. So what would you use a VA for? I want you to percolate that in your mind. What would you use one for? And we were talking about events and what Michael does at events. And I want you to think about this event possibility for you as well. What do you do with all the cards you've collected? We talked about that before. Yeah. So Michael has the front desk scan them, email them, forward them to the VA. One will input, one will call and set the appointment, and he sets them up with 40 free hours. Now, those of you who are in a position, like I was in a position, and you are using virtual assistant staffing as your staffing company, and you speak on stages or you have a, a group of people that follow you, you might want to talk to Michael about doing a joint venture, like I have, where you can offer this as an added value to your program. Can you imagine? I'll tell you what, some of our, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. 40 hours. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm literally adding that to my programs. When people buy my programs, I'm adding them 40 free hours of a VA to do it for them. They are on fire, I cannot even tell you. Because they always ask me, well, can I just have somebody do this for me? Do you have staff that can just do this for me? And it was hard for me because I originally was like, I'll hire them, I'll train them, but then I'm in the middle of it and I don't want to be the bottleneck. So now what I do is I say, look, I know that you're not going to want to do this yourself. It's an ongoing process. Here's what I'm giving you, 40 hours of a VA to do it for you. And then you can keep them and they will keep it up and they'll already know where everything is. And they're like, oh my God. It just added so much more to my entire, um, to my entire program. It ups the value. So what could you do? Everybody on the call, think about what could you do by adding this to your program? I'll tell you what most coaches that we have worked with have found is that their conversion ratios will go up anywhere from 20 to 40 percent by offering the virtual assistant free 40 hours. Uh, so in other words, when, when I say their conversion ratios, if you're normally converting at 30 percent, say, then you can expect that you'll increase that by an additional 40% of that 30%, right? So 30 uh, times yeah. 40%, so another 12%. So now you'll be converting at 42% instead of 30%. Uh, 
uh, right. by adding that virtual assistant bonus in there. And let me tell you, it's huge. Oh, it's Here's huge. Thing. Even if they it's don't use it, huge. it is. Right. Even if they don't use it, it's okay because at the end of the day, you've offered to them, you've given them something of value with without any thought of return for you. And even though, by the way, you will get obviously affiliate commissions on that as well, and we'll walk you through that, you know, when we talk. Uh, but understand that at the very least, you've given them added value, and it hasn't cost them anything, and it just made your product that much more valuable. Yeah, for me, I, I mean, to be honest, I don't even know what the affiliate commission is because I that wasn't it for me. For me, it was knowing that I had a kick butt company out there doing my recruiting for me. I laid out everything I needed to Brian. I said, this is my staffing needs for the next for the rest of the year. Here's where I'm going. Here's where I'm ramping up. And I have this rock solid foundation where I feel like I can scale. And since I have done that, my business has exploded. Just knowing that I've got the support that I need has allowed me to dream bigger, open my eyes wide and say, bring it on universe. I can handle anything that you can throw at me and any opportunity, I am a yes. And it has exploded just because my mindset changed that I don't feel like I'm all alone and I'm not worried about ramping up because I know I've got a strong team behind me. Yeah, and that's huge. You know, just knowing that that's being taken care of is gigantic. And we will stand behind it. That's the other thing. Nobody ever pays us anything until they're 100% happy with their VA. That's the bottom line. You know, so we're going to let them test them out, make sure they're happy, make sure they've got the right long-term fit for their team, and then and only then will they ever pay us anything. That's huge. Right, and I just I love that, and I love the the way that you treat people. I love the way you handle my clients. I've referred you guys a ton of people, and everybody's raving fans. So that goodwill translates to me because I'm the one who introduced them. I yeah. love it. I, agree. I love it. Cool. So let's talk about when you should hire a VA. <clears throat> you know, when so you're ready, ready for, for growth. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, that's just, you, go ahead. <laughs> it's hard because we're not on the same screen and I can't see what's coming next and I don't know when the end of the slides are. <laughs> I mean, this is real, people. This is transparency. We are just, we are doing this so that you can get a feel for what you can do because you need this. This is what will take you to the next level. I guarantee it. Well, and that's the thing, you know, you want to make sure that you're certainly ready for the growth. You know, maybe you've experienced attrition in your office, maybe you're feeling overwhelmed, you just need to save some money. In any case, you're ready to take your next your business to the next level and you can afford one. It's very important that you do this, that you hire a virtual assistant when you're ready. Now, if you're not ready, let's just let's say you're in a position where, you know, gosh, Michael, I'd really like to have a VA, but I'm just not quite there with my business yet. Hey, that's okay. Not a problem. You know, fill out the form anyway. Go to the website anyway. And let's at least get connected. Let's stay in touch with one another. And when you're ready, then we'll give you that 43 hours so that you can test this person out, make sure they're the right long-term fit for you. And we're doing it in a way that's both financially, emotionally, and, and you know, s s overall the right move and secure and, and safe for you at that moment. So, you know, whatever you do, don't hesitate to contact us. So let's at least get connected with one another, and we'll be here. We're not going to pressure you. It's not. This is not a take advantage of it today or it's going to go away kind of thing. Uh, but do this, though. I will say this. It, make sure you fill out that form. And by the way, the first we we take everybody's calls on the first come first serve basis. So whoever does sign up on that form first will get the first call from our office. But again, you're not going to feel pressured in any way, shape, or form. We're going to take care of you on your time frame. Absolutely. Because you only have two choices to find the right VA. Because you need a VA to expand. You absolutely have to. And you can do it yourself, or you can use a headhunter. I prefer using a headhunter because guess what else that is? That's like having a free HR department. And right? we, do, we do solve a lot of a lot of the issues so that you don't have to. I mean, you, and you may have certain training needs. Somebody, you know, like with the bookkeeper, for example, Manny gave a perfect example where, uh, you know, you may need a bookkeeper, but and you have QuickBooks, but maybe it's a complete mess and you don't even know where to start. No problem. Mandy's going to get in there. She's going to work with the bookkeeper that we've got hired for you, and she's going to help them get it cleaned up and help get you back on the right track. So. There are a lot of things we can do from an HR perspective. Or maybe you're, you know, you're having a struggle with your VA. Maybe there's a communication challenge. Well, great. Then we'll get involved and we'll help overcome that communication challenge. And in those cases where it's just not overcomable, hey, we'll, we'll get rid of them for you and we'll get you a replacement. No problem. 
and here's the other thing. You guys do personality tests. This is what I thought was so funny when we were talking. And, and you were talking about what type of personality. I'm a creative or, you know, looking at my Mac and <laughs> all the colors and, <laughs> you know, my, cal my crazy calendar and then, oh, my goodness, how many windows do you have open at once? Uh, and you do those personality assessments on the staff that you're hiring so you know whether or not they're going to be a good fit. Now, most people who are going out and doing it themselves are never going to think that far ahead because they're just not going to know. I mean, how many people are going to give somebody a Myers-Briggs and know whether or not the result of that is going to be compatible with you? I mean, that's a lot of study. It's so much easier to have a company that handles it for you, at least for me. And I can I tell you, I, I literally, since I started with you guys and I know that I've got, I'm covered, I have had about, I want to say $40 million in new business show up. Now, I haven't inked all the deals, but that's just shown up like out of nowhere. And I went, okay. <laughs> well, and here's a big piece to that too. Say yes. Well, and, and if you think about it, you know, you're, you're in a mental position now to where you're comfortable saying yes and where you're open to those opportunities coming to you. And when, we all know that when we're open to the world, the universe speaks to us, right? When we throw yeah. it out there that, hey, I'm ready for this now. I'm confident that I can build the team that I need to build around whatever comes my way. Then I'm going to go, you know, that those opportunities will in fact come my way. The challenge comes when you're kind of the lone ranger, the one person show, and you're not comfortable because a, a lot of people go through that state of mind of, well, gosh, I don't want to bring business in because then it means more work for me, and I got to go, you know, I got to go fulfill that work. Well, when you've got a team fulfilling it for you, man, you can go out there and bring in all the business you want, and you're not concerned about it because you know somebody else will be taking care of it and, to, and making it happen. Exactly, and that's exactly what I mean. So the excuses, they're gone. Whoop, there's, no, there's no excuses. Yeah. I can't say I don't have staff. I can't say I don't have a big enough team. All of the excuses that you could ever think of for not saying yes to an opportunity, they vanish. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, and you don't understand this. Everybody thinks they can do it better than anybody else, and that's fine, but just know that, believe it or not, one, there are people out there that can do certain things better than you and I can do them. You know, I, I think I'm pretty good at a lot of things, but I'm not a very good video editor, for example, and I can hire somebody who can do a better job than I can of that. Now, I will say that I'm a pretty good salesperson, I think, you know, or at least I've kind of always felt that way, and does that mean that I wouldn't hire other salespeople? No. Are they going to be able to sell as well as I can? Maybe not. But if they could sell 75 or 80% as good as I can, that's a victory. That's a home run. I'll fill my team up with people that are 75 or 80% as effective as I am at sales. How great would that be? Mm -hmm. And that was a key thing for me because there are certain things that I do really well and I'm a perfectionist. But the issue was, okay, it'll take me 10 hours to do this. If I hire somebody else, it'll take me 20 minutes to tweak what they did. So 10 hours to do it myself or 20 minutes to tweak because it'll be almost perfect. Well, and understand, in the beginning, regardless of who you hire or what you hire them for, you're going to have that sense of, wow, you know, it would be faster if I just did this myself rather than training this person how to do it. Well, that may be true in some cases, but guess what? Once you've trained them how to do it, now they know how to do it. And you don't have to train them 10 different times especially if you use Jing or Screencast or Camtasia to create short videos, that then they can watch over and over and over again to really understand that process. It's huge. So just, I, I cannot say this enough times, the more you are willing to invest of your time into your team, the less you will be working in your business and you'll be able to work on your business. And that's when you really start seeing efficiencies and making more money and all that kind of stuff. And, and, and very importantly, having more time and more freedom to go spend it with your family or whatever it is you like to do. Yes, that's totally true. I've actually learned to live with Skype open now, which <laughs> I didn't even, I don't even think I launched Skype for like six months before. And now it's open all the time and I've become so much more productive because Rather than, you know, trading emails back and forth, it's like a quick 30-second chat, and boom, they're off and running. Yeah, that's gigantic. Yeah, it's huge. So another one, uh, Brad says, thanks, Mike. You guys are lightning fast. I'm not sure if you started 
looking for the person I needed before I even knew I needed him, but it sure seemed like it. Great service and great support. Can't wait till I need another VA so I can go through the process again. Yeah, Brad's That's a great amazing. guy. He's, he's actually one of the founders and creators of Infusionsoft. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, Brad's a pretty sharp guy. So, uh, yeah, he, uh, and when, let me tell you, when Brad needs a VA, he doesn't need somebody for data entry. He needs someone that can program really high-level Ruby on Rails or, you know, stuff that most of us don't even understand, but because it's so high-level. Um, and let me tell you, he, you know, we can get him, when I place a VA with Brad, it's the type of person he would hire in America for $125 an hour, but I'm getting it for him for like $25 an hour. Wow. I mean, it's huge savings. Huge. So. Absolutely huge. Yep. So let's look at how it works. All right. So bottom line, again, here's what we're going to do for you. <clears throat> we're going to go out. Uh, you're going to go to the website that's listed at the top of the screen there. D again, it's wowisme.net forward slash VA staffing. That's wowisme.net forward slash V-A-S-T-A-F-F-I-N-G dot com. You're, you're going to get a call after filling out the form on that page. You're going to get a call from someone on my team, and we're going to go out and we're going to get you a fantastic virtual assistant. Now, i got to tell you, I cannot promise that your first placement will be perfect, but I can absolutely guarantee you you won't pay anything until you're 100% happy. I will always take 100% of the risk so that you don't have to, our goal is to provide you with the right VA, take the majority of the tasks off your plate, and help you focus on money generating activities so that you can work on your business, not in your business. And along the way, we're going to develop a long term relationship with you and your team so that you, like Adrian, become a raving fan referring us to everyone you know. And I do refer you to everyone I know. Matter of fact, I actually referred you. To, uh, I, I set up a group and I referred 136 people all at once. Poor Brian is like, oh my God, my funnel. <laughs> <laughs> you need a bigger funnel. That's <laughs> it's awesome. It's overflowing now. And I, I literally started sending off introduction emails because I was so excited and I was so pleased with the process. So yeah, I mean, it's a great marketing tool to just have your raving fans tell their friends because every, every entrepreneur needs this. Everybody. Oh, man. Well, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. We love those referrals. And, we'll, as, of course, as you know, we're going to take awesome care of them. So. I know you are. You are doing an amazing job with everyone I have sent so far. And I cannot wait to send the rest of my people because everybody needs this. Like I said, everybody does. Thank you so much. Everyone, if you have questions, please go to wowisme.net slash VA staffing. Fill out the form. Ask your questions. You will be contacted. They will follow up. They will make sure that they answer all of your questions, take care of you, great customer service, and I swear you will be a raving fan just like me. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I look forward to talking with each and every one of you and helping you grow your world-class team. Awesome. Thank you.